Hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we're back with Aliens the Roguelike. Last time we just, well, we started playing the game, and we ended with a fairly good position because I finally got my good old F and Scar Rifle, or my F and Scar Rifle, just because that's kind of a funny way to put it. But uh, we still want to do the whole, you know, reloading, un unreloading. This. I did change my uh, controls because originally the primary side arm and heavy go on, well, P for primary, S for side arm, and H for heavy. But all in all, that's kind of hard to work with. So I switched it so that you have your you got Q, W, and E for side, arm, primary, and heavy, and I just find that to be far more useful. Um, also, I did have have the the sound noise of the game. I didn't. I still couldn't find any any sort of uh, man. So much ammo that I simply am not using. Armor pack. You know what? Let's just use an armor pack just because. Might as well. Uh, because I couldn't find any volume settings for anything so I thought well heck might as well just kind of finish up and use what I, is existing so anyway we got ridiculous amounts of extra ammos here uh, oh and there's the elevator up to the, the third floor let's go there because I feel confident I feel pillow confident somebody's trying to destroy their way through Let's see if I can... Cool. That wasn't cool at all. Oh, it was you that was trying to get to... Alright. So that, that's what was going on there. Let's go ahead and use Mr. Med Pack. And I do have a lot of... Uh, a lot of stuff right here that I am simply not using. But there is a lot of... Do I want sidearms? Do I want... Do I want to save up for other ones? I probably want advanced in both of these at some point in the game. <laughs> uh, and then there's like technical. Decreases reload time by 10% and increases effectiveness of armor packs. This isn't bad. But I think mostly you want it for the multi tools and whatnot. So. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Um, wow, that's a lot of enemies. Let's go ahead and throw my Mr. Incendiary and pray, well, pray that it's, well, I need to throw it here, it's, here. it's only two radius, but I might be able to use this to my advantage anyway. Pray that it works out, huh? Because most of them are going to be kind of slug sluggish in the first place. So, would you look at that? People thought I was crazy for trying to fight a bazillion enemies at once. Looks like a lot of them just kind of ran, too. Well, two of them did. Um, can I get these guys without the other ones? Looks like it. Alright, cool. Oh, crap. Don't. Don't. Ah, darn it. Well, maybe you'll just run without. Nah, it looks like you know where I am. I do need to get used to the, the whole where my weapon is. Uh, with regards to key bindings. Six, cool, okay. And that, that actually boosted a little bit of uh, experience. That's uh, just a very little bit of experience because they were all worth five. Workers are only worth five for all the for all the annoyance that they actually are, so. Well, maybe I should check. Okay, and there's a radiation suit. Those are always fun. Where are you? Why are you trying to break stuff? Oh, there you are. Hello, trying to break stuff, man. How is it going? So at this point, probably not going to bother with a combat shotgun because the scar rifle is simply, well, maybe I don't know if it's entirely better uh, per se, but well, I have a lot of ammo for it. It holds more ammo, and overall, it's better at killing single targets. If I ever truly need to deal with uh, targets, multiple targets, that's mostly what the grenades are for. And, well, quite frankly, one tends to carry more than enough of those. 
Oh man, really? <sighs> yeah. When you shoot at an enemy, you usually shoot directly at that enemy, as opposed to, say, uh, through the enemies that are near it. Uh, this can be good, because if you do really want to kill something that's farther away because he's the tougher opponent, yes, but... You know, otherwise, not so much. I think I'm actually going to swap, because right here, for instance, I can just switch this to my quick slot just by pressing the button. And just go, boop, there we go. So I can pick up the armor pack there. I don't, I don't know why, mostly. Well, the reason I'm using it is because I have yet to actually use a crack grenade. And uh, for the most part, they are in serious emergencies, and I'm not going to really consider a serious emergency, including... Uh, situations where I don't have to go to my objects, really? Yeah, and I didn't kill you. That's one reason to, to bring reload, to increase reload capacities there. It's for stuff like that. But if you notice, uh, well, I can't because I'm not the Marine, so I can't master light weapons, but... Oh, it, it reduces firing time for those weapons. Okie dokie. So that one is the reload time to 10% of base. That basically makes it so that scouts and technicians are kind of exclusive of one another because, well, I mean, I guess you don't have to master a trait, but all the same, sometimes you just want to. And another med pack. That's not a good sign that I'm burning through med packs like this at this rate. But that is, hold on, hold on. What is this? Scar rifle? Okay, let's get a quick reload out of it. Not what I was expecting. Also, okay. Oh, whoa! Enemies. Enemies. Lots of enemies. See, this is a good situation where I can. Skis, yeah. Still dealing with you, as a matter of fact. Oh, yeah. Yep, bit of a waste there. Happens. And there's the mend. Wow, there's a lot of dudes in there. A lot of dudes. And there's still a lot of dudes. What do you know? What, what is this? This is a submachine gun. All right. So that would be the next floor, except the next floor apparently doesn't really want me to go that way. If you notice, it's in tilds as opposed to equal signs, and that is exactly what I was saying, that yeah, I can't use it. So. so we need to move to a different tower regardless in order to make progress. And what better place to go when you're low on health but to the... Me gosh darn it. Take too long. Medical tower. Oh, wait. Tower. It's, not the, it's not the medical tower at all. What am I talking about? That would be in the opposite direction. But, um, you know what? Let's go security tower. If it things start getting really hairy, we can leave. Hopefully. Get out alive, sort of thing. I have yet to even show off either the stim pack or the painkiller pack, both of which come in handy when dealing with uh, particularly pestering situations. Uh, let's see if we can outmaneuver this guy. It should be possible, as long as I'm not spending too much time, wasting time in areas. Okay. I think I did. Yep, yeah. He just stayed over there. Oh, let's not. Let's not use security keys on, on crates, especially not yellow crates. Yellow crates... Well, is that a yellow crate or is that like... I'm trying to recall... If that's just a crate that... Yeah, gyro stabilizers are meant for heavy weapons. Although, I think in this version, you can actually just equip heavy weapons all you want, and there's no consequences. So, At least that's what I found in my preview, that I was able to pick up an RPG. And it was perfectly acceptable for me to pick up that RPG. Warriors are going to take shots, in other words. So that's, that's uh, ammo for the Super Pulse rifle, basically. Oh, whatever. Fine. Yeah, there we go. Ho ho! Enemies. What do you know? Enemies. What are the odds of enemies? Probably good. Armor pack, armor pack, 
armor freaking pack. Although, at this rate, I'm not really using my pistol at all. Hmm. I guess I could start trying to. It's just that when you're in enclosed areas, you really don't want to waste any anything. Okay, this is napalm cartridge, yeah. Although I've yet to see a flamethrower. I assume that's what that's for. Stim pack. Once you get into higher security towers, it does require you to, to find security keys in order to even go anywhere, period. So that's something to worry about eventually. Not quite yet. It's one reason you want to keep yourself as security up as possible. So. Oh, there's the incendiary grenades. I could invest in fitness. Let's see what my advancement is. Because I'm really tempted to level up sidearms just so that I can start using my pistol more reliably. I don't know. We'll fig figure it out when we get to it. Really? Dang. Oh, crap. Ugh, phew. That was way too close, by the way, guys. Way too close. Um... Not to mention, I pretty much went through an entire med pack's worth of health in that single area right there. Exploration bonus, hooray! That's that's worth, what, a lot? Yeah, it's worth a lot. It's enough for the sidearms bonus if I really want to take it. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> I know it's not really smart to keep your, keep your stuff like that, but uh, I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking, okay? I gotta, I gotta think. And while I think, I have to do stuff like check crates. It's a great way to pass the time. Ooh, the Beretta SMG. This is like the, oh, compact pistol. Interesting. That's an M4A5, which, uh, 10L, yeah, I don't know. See, I wish I could see the actual stats of the weapons. I don't know if, for instance, the compact pistol has has uses over just the normal pistol, or if the tactical pistol has uses over either of them. I just, I don't know, and I wish I did. Are you gonna, yeah, they, they took long enough. So yeah, this, this, uh, this SMG is basically like the, <clears throat> the SMG I was using earlier, uh, because yeah, it uses the same ammo, except this one fires eight at a time. Crap. Damn it. Man. Trying to show stuff off did not work in my favor there. So let's see what we got. Force healing sequence. Interesting. You know what? This seems like a great opportunity to invest in some points like that. Now it only costs one, and we can locate terminals while we do it. So force the healing sequence. You know what I'm going to do? See if I can make this cost nothing at the cost of, you know, stuff, but whatever, I finally found a use. Yes, force healing sequence. Skabam! Oh, but it does go offline. Dang. <laughs> Whoopsie. But it didn't cost me anything, so that's nice, I guess. Although perhaps I should have actually paid attention to that, that other force. Oh well. Oh, medpack, cool. Great. That's just great. Thank you, game, for giving me that sort of stuff when I didn't exactly need it anymore. I did kind of come here for, for that stuff, so I'm not exactly, um, what's the word? Dis... In no, that's not the word. I'm not exactly unthankful for it, but at the same time, I kind of wish I had not bothered. Darn it. Speaking of not wishing I hadn't bothered... Okay, well, at least that's not coming after me. There we go. Doop doo got some ammo, that's always fun. Delicious, delicious ammo. Oh, here's another terminal, so we can actually take a look now. Locate terminals, locate personnel. The term oh, darn it, the terminal went offline. <laughs> I didn't realize that was gonna happen after one shot. Probably should have used the elevator instead, locating an elevator, but so this is personnel, all of which are dead. Quite dead. But I think this does tell me where I can find stuff. Because usually when there's dead people, there's also kind of some stuff next to it. So, that's kind of cool. It's also kind of cool that they're all lit up. It's, it's a little ridiculous, but I guess it's just kind of... It, it brought up some kind of location 
sequence. Okay. Reload. Okay. Got our frag grenade. So this is just a normal, typical terminal. Locate elevators. Oh boy, locate more terminals, including the ones that will eventually go offline. But I guess they're more useful or something. Oh, darn it! Wrong one. Might as well get some shots off, huh? Um, yeah, that was bad. That was a bad timing, but it happens. Definitely does. From time to time. That's what I'd like to get. Although it looks like it required a critical hit in order to work properly. So, dang. But as long as we're finding plenty of 556, I am not dissatisfied. Plenty of that ammo, too. Dang. Uh, was there another one? No, okay. That was it. A lot of enemies. A lot of enemies all over the place. Makes me wish that seeing experience showed, it kind of showed up somewhere just more readily available rather than always having to go back to the advancement screen. Huh. Just some, I don't know, like, there's 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 a couple of spices around here. Some, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere, I don't know, somewhere, I don't know, somewhere. So we could make maybe use of a terminal or two. Maybe. Empty? Damn. Need to pay more attention to that sort of thing. Armor, pack it up. So security tower is supposed to be, I'd say the second toughest, and awesome, we got some plasteel, that's better than, that's even better than the, the flak armor, which is typical, typical, your typical good armor. And being a, oh yeah, I guess being a technical guy, I could have saved more time working with what I was, what I have, because armor packs are going to be more effective now that I have technician points. That indeed he would. Oh, I am full on 9mm. I need to be aware of that more, I think, so that I can actually start using it. I also need to be more aware of that stuff. Man, really? Oh, well. Um, oh, well, let's try it. Nah, see, that didn't, that didn't really work. Although, I mean, I have so much ammo at this point, there's almost little reason not to. So I can't actually make any progress here anywhere, so I just move on. Let's in fact let's move on to what is considered the hardest area in the game. Um, after pretending to pick up some stuff. <laughs> so yes, here we go. And there's the running command, which Enjoy is shift move. Ah oh, geez, radiation. Radiation. And I need I already need military keys to get in. Well, never mind. Although, you can use uh, military... You can... One of the most useful things about the military tower, you can always use it to go up and down for us, So, it's kind of your one-stop shop to getting tower. places. I guess let's go ahead and check out the main tower and all of its absolutely ridiculousness. <laughs> it's what it is. Don't wear it out. Because once I start fighting the stuff here, there's going to be lots of dudes probably showing up out of the woodwork. So need to be need to be using all my skills for this. All my skills. Okay, so what kind of that's pulse rifle ammo, isn't it? Yeah. But whatever. Oh, really? Dang, I got another crit. Good for me. <laughs> lucky, lucky for me. Can't use this though. Can't use the elevator around here. Oh well. So there's somebody there. Yeah, here we go. See, this is when our enemies really start showing up. There we go. And this is when reloading can also really come in handy. So definitely want to keep an eye on the ability to reload here. Oh, uh, let's do one more shot. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Very cool. And that one killed it quite instantly. Let's try it again. Really? Once more? Uh, 
empty. Not good. Wasting shots like that. Hello, Hunter. One of the nice things about, well, I don't know how good it is anymore, but one of the nice things about advanced sidearms with the original pistol is that it was actually fairly reliable at killing hunters from a distance. Warriors, less so. Right? But hunters, and as common as they are because they'll just show up out of the woodwork from freaking nowhere, it, it becomes rather important for you to, to, to use it in such a manner. That's the main reason I want to get advanced sidearms. Whatever, I'll just fight you. My plasteel armor isn't going down, which is cool. Very cool. Yay! Fighting you, fighting enemies adjacent. That's when you get your best shots in. So. This is a pretty cool area. I gotta... I just... I really want to give a shout out to how much more interesting the, the towers are in general now. It's, it's so much better than it used to be. I mean, as fun as the game was before, it did become rather lackluster by the end game simply because you were seeing the same sights over and over again. So, so it is rather cool to, to suddenly deal with situations that are very different. So, I'm liking it. I really am. Good. All right. More stuff. I should probably just keep the scar rifle on the whole time. Hunters sure move. Move, yeah, they move. We move. That's from Warcraft 2, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Staying alive. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. How is this coming along? The warriors and hunters are giving me 15. I mean, maybe I should check. In fact, let's 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 do a quick check on on the next opponent. So, uh, darn it, I don't remember how much I had. I think it was an even 1400. But let's let's be sure this time. So I had 1405, 1410. So that's five. Let's go ahead and look for more dudes. More dudes. Where are the more dudes? Don't tell me I clean this place out. There we go. Come on, dude. There we go. So 410 going to 415. That's another 5. So now we need to find our, ourselves a hunter or a warrior. You know, either or. Just something that will tell me more information about the game. Ooh, grenade ammo. That's for the, that's for the RPG launcher thing. Rocket propelled grenade launcher. Hey, let's do a drone while we're at it. So we're at uh, 1420. Now we're at 1425. So yeah, all the low levels are worth a marginal amount. So 1425 leading us to 1435. They're only worth 10. Okay. Dang, I was hoping they would be worth more, but I guess not. Oh, um, so that should be 1450 if we know it. Yep. Yep. So where's where's that hunter that I'm looking for? So, that's not a hunter at all. It's the weak version of the hunter. Let's go figure. So we got that. Yeah, main tower. Let's go to engineering, engineering back. Tower. Back to engineering and then quickly work our way to the medical tower. This is where I meant to go last time instead of the security tower, but alas... The game just wouldn't let me have fun there. So we're at uh, 1450, is it? 1455. Giggity. 1455 to 14... Oh, it's 10 again. Wow. So in other words, yeah. Experience gains have been lessened overall. Somebody's trying to break their way through. Whom? Oh, hello, Hunter. How's it going? Scavenger. There we go. That's better. But yeah, this place has medical lockers out the wazoo. And medical lockers have mostly med packs. Not even sure if they have anything besides med packs. They might have like stim packs or such, but for the most part, we're looking primarily at um, med pack. 
Which means it's a great place to take damage, especially if you have lots of armor and such. Security, excellent. So I can just go up. Will you try to break through? I don't know. I don't even care. Ah, jeez. Really? Alright, this isn't too bad, because it's mostly drones and greys. Greys aren't the worst thing in the world. Okay. Let's try to do this correctly. Let's see. Well, I guess I could just kill you guys. I mean, don't you love it how the worker is stuck? Is stucking the warrior there? That's that's great. I think he's trying to kill the wor worker. In fact, and it's not working. So this is kind of a bug. Just... <laughs> oh, that's pretty amazing. Let's end this relationship, shall we? Ta-da! All right, cool. So that was a nice way to kill a bunch of enemies. Real nice way. Very cool indeed. Oh, this place is starting to get pretty big, isn't it? Let's deal with that right now. Before I forget, basically. Before I forget, because it's easy to forget things sometimes when you're not paying attention. So yeah, this is a painkiller pack that showed up. Painkiller packs quite obviously remove pain. And I think also increase your ability to take to uh, handle pain. That might be something else entirely. Oh, it's, it's always like the closest thing followed by the next closest thing. And of course, you just decided to move again in that instant. There we go. Med pack time. Not like there's a billion of them anyway. So, you know, we get more abilities out of them all the same. Ooh, that guy kind of really showed up. Good. Med pack. So who's trying to break free? That's what I want to know. And are they even doing a good job of it? Um, crap. That was the wrong, that was the wrong combination of, of abilities there. Do do do. I mean, why not open the lockers? There's, I think there's no reason to. You might as well just leave things laying on the ground if you're gonna mess around at all. So I'll just get that. How close are we? Sidearms. Okay, so I'm going to get advanced sidearms at this point. Advanced light weapons, while it would be very nice, I think ultimately sidearms will prove themselves uh, more ammo conservative. So let's let's put my uh, let's put my points where my mouth is and see if this works out for me at all. The one place sidearms aren't useful is in when, when you're in crowded situations, uh, well, either close quarters or crowded situations. Um, because it doesn't really deal the maximum effectiveness. So, and we're already taking some serious damage. Here. But that was only five shots, that wasn't too bad. That could have been lucky, but... Yeah, great. Hunters out of the woodwork, once again. So if we if we recall, I was at full full uh, ammo for the scar rifle, but even now I'm not really there anymore. So kind of sucks. Let's just use one. Most of the time, when I say let's just use one, I end up kind of partially wasting it, which always sucks. Okay, other terminals. Oh boy, including the red ones, the super duper ones. Scavenger, four hits, yeah. Four hits sounds about right, given this point of the game with the advanced sidearms. Later on, we will also be getting experience better just because we'll be killing more things with greater efficiency due to better weapons and stuff. It's one of the cool things about seeing how games kind of do their, do their various things. Um, oh crap. Ooh, this is bad. Um, this is going to, I'm going to go ahead and use the painkiller pack right now. There we go. So, the painkiller pack just made it so that I couldn't take pain, basically. Um, yeah, and I can't get any medical. 
There we go. So that was that was the use of the painkiller pack to make sure I didn't quite die, pretty much. Um, but it is going to have some. I, I don't know what if it's exactly lasting effects, other than addiction rate or something. But uh, which probably means that they're less. They don't work quite as much later on. The more you use them, sort of thing. So something to be wary of. I say that a lot. Man, I've been saying that a lot. It's crazy. Oh man, that one's just completely out of order, huh? Is there a way to un-out of order it? Like, suppose I just try to use one. Like, on you. Nope. Just can't use it. Period. Nope, nope. Not working, not working. Did I leave some med packs behind that I can use? It doesn't look like it. Though I could upload a map. I don't think uploading a map's gonna make a lot of sense right now, but... Is this a uh, painkiller? Excellent. So, just take that. Take that, ye scoundrels! For I have gained abilities. Med pack. Yeah, I've already done this. Looks like I can't make any headway, but I, I already knew that. So, we've already hit our 30 minute mark, so let's leave it at, at this point today. This has been Game Hunter playing Aliens the Roguelike, and join me next time when we continue to make some progress. I'm hoping to just kind of steadily climb the ladder here not really having to backtrack and and kind of uh, I don't know weapon scum my way through getting uh, a, an assured victory but we'll see how it has to go so until then keep playing those roguelikes guys and take care